Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so you may well have got this email from Amazon Prime if you're a Prime member, basically telling you in the UK that Amazon Prime is increasing from $7.99 a month to $8.99 a month, or if you pay it annually, it's going up from £79 to £95. So that's an increase there of £12 a year if you pay monthly, or if you pay annually that is an increase of 16 pound now the price rises start from the 15th of september 2022 so what you've really got to ask yourself at this point is do i actually use my amazon prime membership now on average to get something next day delivery on Amazon Prime, it's about £4.99, so £4.99. Do you order more than one thing a month and want it next day delivery? Now, if you don't order more than one thing a month and want it next day delivery, or you can wait for their sort of free delivery, which is normally around about three to five working days if you spend over £20. Now, Obviously, you want to ask yourself as well, if, if, if the case is um, no, you don't order more than one thing a month, or you can wait a little bit longer for uh, your stuff to be delivered, do you use any of the other features of it? Do you use the Amazon Music side of things? Do you use the Prime Video? Do you use Prime Photos, i.e. do you store your photos at Amazon? What about the Kindle? Do you... Um, get books on Kindle first reads. Any Prime Gaming? No? Okay, so if you don't use any of those, then cancel it. Cancel your membership when it's due for renewal. Get rid of it. You know, you might find yourself saving £8.99 a month or £95 a year. If you find you miss it, then you can always resubscribe again. So yeah, like I say, first of all, if, you've, if you really can live without it, go cold turkey, get rid of it get rid of your Amazon Prime subscription. Now, I know in some cases, this isn't gonna be possible. So how can you still save money? Well, if you're actually paying monthly, then perhaps consider switching to an annual payment and do that before the 15th of September. So whenever your monthly payment is, your last monthly payment before the 15th of September is, switch to annual because you're gonna get your Amazon Prime subscription at the old rate of 79 pound instead of 95 pound. And all it's gonna cost you, like I say, for the year is 79 pound. Now that's a great saving because if you was to pay monthly, continue to pay monthly, then you'd pay 8.99 a month. And that equates over a year to 107 pound 88 pence. So for the next year alone, you're gonna save 28 pounds 88, which when you look at it, is basically just over three months of your membership. So why not consider doing that, like I say, if your subscription is due for renewal before the 15th of September 2022, then renew it annually if you're a monthly or if it's due before the 15th of September 2022, then make sure you renew it and you'll get it at the old price for a year and still retain all those benefits. And like I say, if you're paying monthly, if your month ends before the 15th of September 2022, switch to an annual payment and you'll only pay £79 and that is a saving of £28.88, like I say, just over three months worth of subscription. So if you can pay up front, then obviously do so. Obviously, I understand not everybody's got the money to pay well, £79 up front. So if you haven't and you find that, I don't know, for instance, one month you're going away for a few weeks or a week or, uh, and you're, you're likely not to use it. Obviously, if you're paying monthly, you've got the benefit of canceling your subscription at any time. So you can cancel it if you know you're not gonna use the benefits one month and then resubscribe again the following month. And that is gonna save you £8.99 for all the months that you don't actually use it. For instance, it might be that during the summer months, you're outside a lot more. You're not sitting in front of your telly. You're not listening to music on Amazon Unlimited Music. You're not reading books. So 
Therefore, you know, you could afford to cancel it if that's the case. If you are using it, then why not make the most of it? Why not use the free delivery? If you haven't got Prime Video installed on your devices, install it. If you've not got Amazon Music installed on your device, devices, use it. If you've got, so you're subscribing, say, to Netflix and Amazon Prime, perhaps cancel Netflix for a month and see how you get on with just Amazon Prime. If you've got Spotify, Deezer, or one of the other music services, perhaps, again, try cancelling them for a month or so and try using Amazon Music instead. There are loads of ways you can still keep your Amazon Prime subscription and still save money. If, for instance, as well, you only use Prime Video, so if you only watch the TV shows and movies included with your Prime membership, then did you know you can get that separately as a standalone product for only £5.99 a month? So you can cancel your Amazon Prime membership and just subscribe to Prime Video for £5.99 a month. That's another way that you can make a great saving on your Amazon Prime membership. So that's if you don't use the other benefits like the free delivery, the uh, the uh, the, the, the Prime Music or the uh, Kindle stuff. So uh, there you go. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually share your membership with another adult in the household if you wish, but it must be someone you trust because they do have access to, to purchase stuff on your behalf. So uh, you've got to be very careful and it's got to be someone you really do trust. To, uh, to use that. But if you're in a house share, for instance, and you want to share with other people, then you can share with an, another adult in your property and you can split the cost if you wish. So there you go, some great ideas there for you. I hope this helps and if it did, stick around on my YouTube channel because I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. So make sure you have a look around whilst you're here. Hopefully you'll find something that'll entertain you, educate you, and even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.